Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here. In this video, I hope that I will answer one of the most often asked questions, how to reset the maintenance card on a 3800 or 3880 using one of those resetters that you buy on eBay. As you can see, my light is flashing. I have reached the point where my maintenance card has been declared to be full. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the printer off. Now we'll remove the cartridge. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but I have been refilling these with an absorbent material used in automotive garages. This is the type of absorbent pad that is hydrophilic. In other words, it will absorb water-based liquids. Do not buy the hydrophobic one or the oil absorbent ones. These are readily available through eBay. So now the way we're going to refurbish this cart is to use a flat blade screwdriver, undo these tabs, take the top off, remove that old absorbent material, throw it out, replace it with new fresh material, put the cover back on it, and then we're going to reset the chip but that chip will not be recognized as full because the printer remembers the ID code of that chip so regardless of whether it has been reset or not it sees it as the same chip and it sees it as not being reset so what we need to do is fool the printer into thinking that a new code has been added and actually it's not going to be fooled because I'm going to actually put a brand new maintenance card in it and I'm going to turn the printer back on. It's going to see that new code and it's going to record it. Then we're going to reset this one and then I will remove the new one without ever putting a drop away sink in it. And when I reinsert this one it will be accepted as full because again remember it's going to record the code of the new chip on the new card and overwrite this one. So when I reset this one and I put this one back in, it will then overwrite the code of the brand new cart, thinking this is again a brand new pristine out of the box cart. And that's how it works. So this, this uh, padding it still has a lot of absorbency left, so I'm not even going to go ahead and change it. I'm going to do a video showing exactly how that process is done a little later on. So what I will do now is I'm going to go ahead and reset this chip and then put it aside, insert the new cart, let it record its new code, and then we'll swap them again and you will see that the light will not be flashing anymore. It will see it as a full cart or a, a I should say an empty cart. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use the newest resetter available. It's a QE589 chip resetter. We'll take it out of the box, and this is what it looks like. It does not have that alignment frame that allows you to basically use it almost with your eyes closed on cartridges. We have to align these pins by hand. It's a little bit of a tough little trick to do, but we can get it done. So let's go ahead and align the orientation of the chip with the orientation of the actual pins on the resetter. And you can see it turning red. I don't have it right, so let me redo that again. There you go, it turned green and it's out. Okay, if I put this back in, it will recognize as still being full of ink. In other words, the chip will be seen as being not reset. So let's go ahead and put that aside. I'm going to go ahead and open up the cart I just received. And we're going to go ahead and replace it. Insert it into our printer.
and we will start the printer up. I'm going to go ahead and zoom into the screen and I'll do a close-up to show you that it is indeed accepted. Now, what you will notice is that the light will not flash. And indeed it shows the on the screen, I'll give you a close-up of that in a second, it shows it as full. And there you should see it on the far right hand side a solid black column. That means the tank is absolutely empty of ink and of full use capacity. In other words, this kind of works backwards. When it's full is empty and when it's empty is full. That's a little crazy, but okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and replace that cart with the one we just reset. Okay, we'll go ahead and turn the printer back off. And here we have the still half used guts. This, like I said, this still has a lot of absorbency. Well, it's almost there. For the for the demonstration, I'm not going to change the uh, guts. I got some ink on my finger, so it's getting to the point where it is fully saturated. We'll go ahead and uh, remove the brand new card. It doesn't have a drop of ink in it and we will store that and we will turn on the printer and you should see it as a full cart or an empty empty of ink cart I'm going to go ahead and restore my brand spanking new cart for later use in case that cart ever fails on me I have my new one here So we're going to go ahead and zoom in and hopefully if all everything went right we should have a fully reset cart and indeed we do as you can see right there it is red as a full cart and that's really all there is to it you need you really need at least another used cart preferably a new one or at least you know someone else's uh, used up maintenance cart because remember you have to overwrite the original code of that previous chip once you do that then this one the new one we just put in even though it was originally rejected it would have been rejected and I should have shown you that but believe me take my word it would have been rejected you overwrite the code by inserting a brand new one it sees that chip erases the old chip code and now it has say for instance code 001 so when you insert the other card that was 002 it will then not recognize that code it will overwrite 001 and you're good to go all right it's really that simple folks so you really need for all of you pro 3880 and 3800 users and even some of the uh, larger ones like the 4800 4880 and and up they all use maintenance cards and they are resetters available for all of those and that's all you have to do you just have to have a pair of cartridges to work from and you just go back and forth back and forth back and forth reusing them all right, so if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe, of course, and have any comments or any anything at all to say about this subject. Just go ahead and put it in the comments below, and I'll be more than glad to answer you. All right, so until the next time, happy printing. Bye-bye.